Let's go ahead and work with place value. Let's start with reading numbers. So when we look at this number right here, this is 763. This number right here is 2,832. As the numbers continue to get larger, we can concentrate on reading the periods of the numbers as well. And what I mean by that is that this here, these three digits, the 8, the 3, and the 5, are in what's called the thousands period, whereas the 2, 3, and 0 is in what's called the once period. By reading those groups and numbers in each period, we can go ahead and read larger numbers. So we concentrate on the 835, just as we had read 763 before, and for this comma here, this is now in the thousands period, so we say 835,000, and then we just say 230. The word form of a number it's just the words of what it is that we would just have said for each of these numbers. So this first number, 238572, which is 238,572, the word form of that is just the words, 238,572. So as you see there, I've written it out, 238, which was that right there, thousand, because that was the thousand period, 572, 572. The word form for this larger number here, we now have a nine in the millions period. So it's 9,521,000, and then 058 would be pronounced 58. Putting that all together, we get 9,521,058. And as you see, I've written that out, 9,521,521,000, and then another comma, 58, 58. And so that, again, is the word form of a number. Okay, it's time for you to try. Go ahead and write this number here in word form. Write that number there in word form. Please hit pause while you are working. So what we do is we concentrate on each period. So first off is this period right here. That's 372,000. You'll notice that we put a hyphen for the 72, 372, and as I said before, thousand. Did you remember to place a comma in between each of your periods? And then so we have 501, and the way we write 501 is we just write 500, 1. So as you see here, 372,501. 372,501. This here, that is in word form. The other way we might see this is we might be given the word form, and we might be asked to write the numbers. And when we're asked to write the numbers, the numbers is just standard form. It's how we usually see numbers, and so we call it standard form. So it, what it's asking you to do is to just write out those numbers that we would write for 16,509,006. Again, we concentrate on the periods. So we concentrate on the millions period first. It says 16 million. And to write 16 million, we just write 16. We place the comma, and then it says 509,000. So to write 509,000, we write 509. It's a little trickier on this last one here. It just says 6 in the ones period. And then so we need to have placeholders. We write a 0, 0, and then a 6. And 
Um, the reason behind this is the six is in the ones place, the zero is in the tens place, and the zero is in the hundreds place. To, so to write six, we write zero, zero, six, so that we have a placeholder. That way the nine here can be in the thousands place, and the 509 can be in the thousands period. So if you look at this number again, it's 16,509,006. So the instructions might be to write in standard form 30,060,416. And so we start in the millions period, where it says 30 million. So we write 3, 0. We'll put a comma, then it says 60,000. There are usually three digits in each period, so we have to place a 0 here, because there are 0 hundred thousands. And then we can place a six zero. Finally, it says 416 in the ones period. So we write a four, one, and a six. Again, we might be talking about the different periods of a number. So I was calling this the ones period, this the thousands period, and then finally this the millions period. You'll notice there's only one digit one number here in the millions period for this particular number, 5,286,302. The other thing that we can talk about with numbers here is the places or the place values within the numbers. And let's call it the place values. And then so this place value or this place is called the ones place. The next place over is called the tens place, and then one over from that is the hundreds place. The digit six is in the what place? Did you say thousands? After the thousands comes the ten thousands place, and then it is the hundred thousands place. And then finally, it's the millions place for the 5 there. So that 5 is in the millions place. So these are the place values of these numbers. So we would say that the 8 is in the 10 thousands place, or the 3 is in the hundreds place. Here we're asked to identify each place value. The 5 is in what place? I know that the 4 is in the 1's place, so the 5 is in the what place? Right, 10's place. This 2 right here, with the arrow, is in, is in the what place? The 10 what place? It's called the 10 thousands place. Notice that there's an S there. And finally, that 3 is in the what place? Remember, this is the millions period. So this is the millions place. The 1 here is in the 10 millions place. So that's talking about place value. I might be given a number. 37,625,000. Forty-one, And then I might be given questions, for instance, what digit is in the hundred thousands place? And then so I need to know what this word digit means. It's just basically saying what number is in the hundred thousands place. Could you point at the hundred thousands place for me? Are you pointing at the six? So all it's saying is what digit is in the hundred thousands place? And you would say six. Six is in the hundred thousands place. What digit is in the ten millions place? Right, it would be the three. What digit is in the tens place? Right, it'd be the four. So digit is just saying what number. Don't get confused by that. 
Okay, let's go ahead and review. I'm going to go ahead and write a number here. When I talk about the thousands period, what am I talking about? The thousands period is the numbers what? 2, 3, and 5, because they are in the thousands period. Remember the 6, 7, and 1 were in the what period? 1's period, and the 3 and the 8 are in the millions period. Read that number for me. What you just said should be what we would write for word form. 38,235,671. Important not to say any ands in there. Again, I said it 38,235,671. Again, that word form, 38,235,671. Each of these are different places. That's the ones place, tens, hundreds. What digit is in the hundred thousands place? It's the two. What digit is in the millions place? It would be the eight. What is that eight worth in the number? That might be another lesson. We really didn't go over that yet. But that 8 would be worth 8 million in that number. Or this 3 here would be worth 30 million in that number. And that's what you need to know about place value for now.